So with everything that's going on with Streamlabs, I've seen a lot of people wanting to jump over from Streamlabs or Slavs to OBS Studio. And that's a good, good reason. That's why today I'm going to show you how you can import your scenes and alerts from Streamlabs to OBS Studios and Stream Elements. There's a few simple steps that we need to go through because first of all, you need to have Streamlabs open and in Streamlabs, you, the only thing you need to worry about is go down here to the Streamlabs or the, to the scene collections, I mean, push manage all the scene that you want to import. You can just rename it. I have mine active. This is the one that's of course active on Streamlabs. You want to rename it. I've renamed it to the same that it's called from before Streamlabs dark mode, but OBS import so that when you open OBS studios, you know which one to import. So that's everything you have to do in Streamlabs. Now you can just close or minimize Streamlabs, open OBS here. We'll just disable that. You can open OBS. You'll hit scene collection, hit import. First time you do this, it's going to pop up if you're going to OBS Studio to automatically find these files. You'll, you should always just press OK. And the thing that you want to import is the OBS import, the Streamlabs dark mode OBS import. That, that's the scene that I wanted to import. So this is the only thing you need to check. Import. Go to scene collections again. And here it is. Streamlabs dark mode OBS import push that you have all your scenes your alert boxes here when we push enable here's the live here's the cam border the starting soon everything is a bit smaller than it should be because my screen is 1440p instead of 1080 and that's everything you'll have to do for your scenes and sources after you're done importing your scenes from Streamlabs to OBS Studios, I'm sure you want to upload or import your alert boxes and chats and everything like that from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. So what you want to do is, first of all, go into your Streamlabs on your browser, not the app, and direct over to alert box. Go to manage themes and activate the alerts that you want. I have mine activated right here, my alerts. After that, and go into streamelements.com, push your icon, push import, go down to Streamlabs, find that, you'll get directed to another site that is the Chrome Web Store, and you'll need to install this extension for your browser. I've already done that, I think all of you know how to do that. After that, go into Stream Elements again. Find your extension on your the extension panel. Push the Streamlabs export to Stream Elements. And here you get a panel up. Start import to Stream Elements. When it's done uploading, you can click here to open alert box overlay. And here we are. You're in my alerts or my overlays and streaming tools. And when we go over to Streamlabs, imported alert box, we can click edit. And let's see, we have the alert box here. We can emulate an alert, a follower alert, and voila, there we go. You have all the alerts that you had on Streamlabs. When you're gonna do the tipping, go to revenue here, tipping site, and tipping settings and you can check whatever you want here you can use panels this is the wrong name for me now <laughs> change name but whatever and here you can check if you want to use paypal or your credit card or whatever where the money they are tipping is going to be directed to so there you go i hope everything we went through was easy to follow along with and was helpful for you if you have any questions at all leave it in the comments down below or you could follow me on twitter there will be in the doobly doo also down below you can send me a dm or whatever if this video helped you any way at all 
please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace.